Hello moviegoers, my name is Justin and I love review movies. And the movie I'm going to review, actually three movies in one, the Indiana Jones, the trilogy. Um, I saw Chris Stuckman's um, take on Indiana Jones and I can tell he's a big fan like I am. <clears throat> and I thought, you know what, I have something to say about it too, because I love Indiana Jones. It's, it's me right off the bat. It's a classic series, it really is. It, it definitely the three movies, the trilogy. I'm just going to review... The trilogy, and this is going to be spoils, okay, this movie's been old, so, spoil ahead, okay, if you don't want to see this review, but, yeah, Indiana Jones, I cannot recommend this movie enough, it's, it's a great film, I'm not going step by step uh, up the series, I'm just going to go to the most important parts of the movie, okay, the first movie, uh, Indiana Jones, um, The Lost Ark, I mean, what can you say about this movie, it's a great film, you see Steven Spielberg, George Lucas working together. It's a great, they working together. It's awesome. I mean, I remember that Steven Spielberg wanted to do an action film. That's the reason why he wanted to do this. And he was going to do a James Bond film. And George Lucas came to him and said, no, I got a better idea. And he gave him the idea of Indiana Jones. And here we are. Although, I would wonder what was Steven Spielberg would do with a James Bond movie. I'm curious about that. I hope he does one. Maybe he ever will. Who knows? But anyway, let's talk about the, the series. Uh, the first one is great. It's awesome. The It's well shot. I mean, I mean, I love the the, the, the beginning of the movie. I mean, while, what a good way to introduce the character. He You don't see his face. You, you, for like maybe for five minutes in the movie, he's doing the treasure. You see the map. You can tell right away he's an archaeologist. Um, you don't see his face in the classic scene I love so much when he has that gun on him and Aaron Jones heard that click and he got his rip and started ripping about him and he was like, then you see his face and you see Aaron Jones, yeah, don't, don't F with me, basically. And it's an iconic scene, it really is. And, um, and you got the classic scene, trying to get the, trying to get that, that thing where he was trying to get and, uh, he grabs it, you know. He runs around, the boulder, all that. It's just, it's just a great movie, hands down. And I love the villain, too, uh, on this one. Because they're so alike. Because they're Balak. Yeah, Balak. You, you, if I've seen his name right, I'm sorry if I, I'm not. But you can tell they're great villains because they're so alike. Because they're both archaeologists. They're trying to get everything you want to get. Unfortunately, he's, he is like Ian Jones. Unfortunately, he's more a bad guy. He'll do whatever it takes. Ian Jones, yeah, he'll do what it takes. But he has... He has rules, and he follows, and he has a code he follows, and he's the hero, and he will do try to do the right thing, even though <laughs> he will be an a-hole sometimes. But, um, yeah, it's, but still, it's a, and you see the first movie, he's trying to get the art, you see the snakes, the classic line I love so much, you know, snakes, why do it have to be snakes, you know, stuff like that, but my favorite line I always love, where he thought he lost the girl, Marion, another great character, I may add. Uh, I love how they introduce her to as well when he's trying to get the the thing on his neck, or her, you know, the, the the staff, the thing supposed to show you with the Arcus. And um, what a great character to introduce her. You can tell she can handle Indiana Jones. She's adventurous like he is. He's just not afraid to get dirty. She will. It's not a dance more distress. She will beat the crap out of you. It comes down to it, and she will beat you of drinking contest to get more money. She's a hustler. So you can see that she's right on on Ian Jones. You can see the chemistry right off the bat. That's why another thing I like about this film. But one of my favorite scenes though, I always been, people like to say their favorite scene with the arc open, you know, his blown up, stuff like that. But for me that when he was trying to find the arc, when he saw the map, the of, and uh, he put the staff down, the light comes up, on John Williams' score, the music was playing. It's just, ooh, to this day, it gives me chills to this day. It's a great scene, hands down. I mean, it never gets old. It, get, it, it gets a tense, and nothing happens. There's a light just hits through and shows you, hey, here's the arc. Great film. Um, the, the truck scene, most iconic action scene. Um, like I said, I cannot recommend this man movie enough. i definitely going to give this A+. Plus. Now... Temple of Doom. Um, unfortunately, this is the most underrated movie of the trilogy. Um, it's, it's unfortunately because it's actually a great film. It's a great movie. 
I mean, it's not perfect. I do agree. It's not as good as the first one, but it's still a great film. Um, what I love about this movie the most is so fast paced. It really is. It moves real fast. I mean, it really does. This is probably the most fast paced, even the last crusade, even the last arc. This movie moves quick. I mean, you, you feel Ian Jones has no rest. I mean, he's going to this Chinese, trying to get the diamond. He's trying to get this. He's getting poisoned. It's just one after another. People don't like short round for some reason. I like short round. Yeah, I don't find him annoying. I mean, hell, he did a lot of things for Ian Jones. And he even saved him, saved him a couple of times when he went to Dark Indy. I mean, really. So, yeah, I can see... He have a kid with him and hangs him with him do his adventures. Why not? That'd be awesome. But anyway, yeah. But I mean, this movie is a dark movie though. You can tell right off the bat. You see hands being cut off, you, you know, a blood going anywhere, heart going up, being hearts being taken out, and the frames coming out. And I love the villain of the second one. One thing I like about the the second one, you can tell right off the bat he's a villain, and. And you can you can tell he will get it looks like he will get Indiana Jones a bad day and uh, and he does anyway too. You see kids being enslaved and you see you gotta get the stones because the stones supposed to have some kind of power, some good luck, good luck charm, something like that. And it's very interesting mythology history of that and I like how they did that and uh, it's very interesting. And um, you got really and. I do agree, she's not the, the best character, but if you know the backstory, there's a reason why. That was George Lucas, because his supposed to represent his ex-wife, basically. So, yeah, <laughs> that's why then that made her interesting. So, <laughs> that's why the movie's so dark, because he was in the bad place in a bad time. But to this day, I still would defend the movie. It's a great film. The action is well done. The fight scenes are well done. Um, you know, it was... The train sequence, the, the chase, I love that scene. It, it never gets boring. Uh, it's like a roller coaster ride. I mean, I love that part. I mean, it's so great. And, uh, and you see Indiana Jones gets turned evil, drinking the blood. It's like, holy crap, where, where's this going? And um, in Crocodiles, it's, it really is that classic good versus evil, if you get my drift. And um, you see the good tribes, he got the kids. And they give him the stone, and uh, only one stone would turn. But like I said, it's a great film. Rewatch it, okay? I mean, unfortunately, it got so much hate that it should. It's a great film. It's a great action film. It's a lot more violent, that's for sure. But one for you another. It, it's not perfect, like I said, but I'm definitely going to give it a, a minus. Hands down, check it out. Now, the best one of the, of the trilogy is The Last Crusade. What a great film. Sean Connery as Ian Jones' dad. I mean, what a great movie that is. And even, I love the opening of all the three better because you have to see the, the young Ian Jones as, as a kid. And you see he's doing his first adventure as a Boy Scout. And you kind of see him as a Boy Scout. So he's doing his first thing, trying to get that cross. And he said, and it belongs to the museum, you know, all that mess. And... That chase secrets, all that mess. You see how he got the hat and the, the whole detail. Um, and you're trying to get the Holy Grail. And this one, you can tell Ian Jones on this one. Because the, the past in Ian Jones, he don't believe ghost stories, huckle pokers, whatever. Here's my gun. It's going to solve my problem. But you can tell on this one, all this stuff going on in his life. It's like, yeah, maybe there are some stuff going on. Some supernatural material. And there are some powers to reckon with. But yeah, The Last Crusade is hands down. Great film. Beautiful shot. And what I like about this one the most, the girl, the, the, the girl, the love interest, is a villain. She she betrays him. She you can tell that she loves she likes Indy uh, Indiana Jones, but she greed takes over her. And you see that in the end of the end of the movie. She gets killed because she's trying to get the grill. Oh, the holy grill. Because Greed in the end kills her, and I, I thought that was a good message. That in the end of the day, greed will kill you. And uh, I love this scene with Sean Connery and Ian Jones grab him, and Ian Jones about to do the same mistakes that she did, trying to grab the Holy Grail. And I love that scene where he call, finally calls him, say, Indiana, Indiana. I mean, what a great chemistry between those two. 
I mean, I love they going back and forth, you know. And but there are some scenes in Ian Jones is like, no, well you're a cool guy. Where were you where I was growing up? You know, you can see you finally they finally bond as father or son. You know, you could tell it has more heart. I love the th the third one more because it has more heart to it, and I loved it in a, a classic way to end up the series. You see him. Ian Jones running off of the sunset and um, it's just a great film hands down I mean it's well paced as well that guy agrees some great action scene definitely the tank scene I mean enough I mean enough alone the tank scene is alone you should watch it it's it's I love how they did that and um, it's a great action scene and like Ian Jones Harris of four was great all three films and I definitely gonna give it not a doubt a plus Trilogy, hands down. And it's sad after that because you can tell they try to do rebuild that that adventure storyline. Okay. Um, Toonware, well, it was okay, but it's not Indiana Jones style, uh, perfection. National Treasure, I did like. I thought that was pretty good with the adventure kind of storyline. I, I, but still, nothing messed up to that. They tried. Even the, the, the last one, um, the, the Crystal Skull. The one I will talk to pretty soon. And it's going to be an interesting review, so check that out when I'm done with this. Um, it's going to be next week, but you'll see my review of the, the Crystal Skull, and I'll get my view on it. I had to rewatch it again and see what I really think about it. But it's a shame that nobody cop tried to top it. There were some great video games of adventure games, like, you know, our Charted series. And you can tell people are hungry for adventure hunting treasures, fighting by guys. It's just great. I mean, it's a great storyline. I mean, why not? You see the hero trying to get it. You see the by guys are trying to get it. Who will get it first? You know, there are stakes. Or there are stakes. Stuff like that. And um, like I said, the trilogy, watch it. Angels, the trilogy. Great film. Watch all three. But like I said, I got to review the fourth one. And I got to rewatch it. And you hear my opinion of that. Anyway, that's it. Leave your comments, comment section below, and tell me what you think of Ian Jones, the trilogy. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What's your favorite one? Temple of Doom? The Last Crusade? The Last Ark? Or maybe, hell, maybe the <laughs> the Crystal Skull. Maybe tell me what's your favorite one. But uh, tell me what's, oh, what's your favorite adventure movie. But any of that, um, that's it. Um, remember, keep yourself distance. Wash your hands. Um, God bless. And I'll see you. And next, movie review.